Hi everybody, welcome to issue three of Masks Arcane, uh, an ongoing series that, of mask games that we're running on the Gauntlet. Uh, we are running under the Gauntlet's inclusivity policy. We're using X cards, lines and veils, um, and we're using cooldown tools, which are called uh, Stars and Wishes. Um, we've taken time to go through our ambitions for the game. We've created ourselves to the safety tools. Do that, kids. It's good for everybody. Uh, this is a slightly dark mask game than, than usual. Uh, our four heroes, in inverted commas, uh, last time uh, around um, infiltrated the vampire courts in their ball and things went slightly wrong. Um, but we're going to come straight into play with our team this time. Uh, because some time will have passed. Uh, and the first thing we need to do before we, we flash back to find out how things um, went when uh, Bayer's mums uh, uh, decided to have a debrief with our sinister kids, as the vampires in the city are calling them. Uh, let's say how that legacy is going, uh, Ash. And um, it's time, I think, for Apollo to make his entry. So, whenever time passes, you roll plus Saviour to see how the members of your legacy feel or react to your most recent exploits legacy. So I have to ask the other players some questions about my performance, dun, and they should dun. answer honestly. So, do you believe I've been upholding the traditions of my legacy? I think the best thing to do is if you draft one question to one player, and uh, we'll... Um, so you've got three questions to answer, right? So why don't we go in keep order and ask that first question to uh, David. One second. I'm just going to double... The grammar is a bit odd on this, these questions, so I'm just going to double check the um, play sheet to make sure it's not being copied and pasted badly. Yeah, before ro I've got the, play the playbook in front of me. Before rolling, ask the other players to answer these questions about your performance. Take minus one to the roll for each no. Okay, word. no, the grammar's correct. It's just uh, so, jumping between like the third and first person. It's a bit weird. Yeah, okay, some, some, so, some, some of the moves and grammars are, uh, are slightly, slightly odd. Okay, so Rick, have I been upholding the traditions of my legacy? Um, I I'd say yes. Uh, you know, um, you you went in, you confronted evil. I mean, didn't maybe defeat evil per se. So that's maybe a mark against against. But I think I think even if you didn't didn't like you know like as 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 we sort of said at the time, we weren't in a good position to actually take on the entire vampire court in one go. But I think you're working towards like you know. Uh, fighting them. So, yeah, I think so. Awesome. And Bea, have I maintained the image of the legacy? Um, you did transform and show off um, your fiery, fiery <laughs> self. So in the most literal sense, yes. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm approaching this question through Bea's eyes, which is, yeah, you absolutely did. <laughs> okay. And Sai, have I made the other members of the legacy proud? Oh, um, I mean, would they be proud that you went to a vampire ball and did not not incinerate everybody there? I mean, they wouldn't be totally ashamed, but proud is a bit strong. I'd say they probably not be exactly proud you were teleported out by a kind of wannabe witch right that, that's not that's nothing to brag about really feels like a no no sorry and uh, cool. I'm, I'm i'm stealing i'm stealing that because bear doesn't have a superhero uh, id uh, um i'm gonna keep referring to him now as the wannabe witch right because uh, that is just uh, so beautiful thank you <laughs> wannabe witch Dear. Okay, so I'm going to roll Savior minus one. So this is plus one on the dice. Chugga, 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 chugga. That's an eight. So uh, it's a seven to nine. So it's a hit. One of them will offer me meaningful encouragement, an opportunity, or an advantage. 
and another is upset with your most recent actions and will make their displeasure known. Dun, dun, dun. Whom? Uh, do you want me to decide? Or do you want to Absolutely. Decide? You should go for what you feel works into the narrative best okay. or will just annoy me the most. <laughs> okay. So uh, in our opening panels of tonight's issue, some time has passed. Uh, your, your grandfather... Uh, your grandfather is quite uh, quite supportive of what you've done. He said, I'm sure you'll we'll catch up uh, with Duke. He's just learning like you are. You did me proud. You served the city uh, and you uh, kept the hidden world from spilling over. That's our duty. He likes you so much. He's like you bring, bring him beer uh, every night uh, this week. Oh. Um, but he's been sort of telling you stories about uh, the hidden world and uh, he's, he's sort of I think Ash is absolutely going to latch on to this opportunity to bond with his granddad because his granddad until now has been absolutely unbondable and he sort of puts his hand on your shoulder and says I'm proud of you for not going your father's way we don't need that flashy stuff We've got other things to do. Oh, um, let me have a look. I just want to quickly look at Legacy Matters. Okay, no. It's about influence and shifting labels, so never mind. Well, I'm happy to give you influence over him. Yeah? Yeah, I'll give you influence over him. Um, I get to mark potential and take plus one forward mm -hmm. awesome doesn't do much else actually plus one forward is that just like on my next yeah action you got it's a, it's a you've got a plus one uh i can't is that a plus one forward or plus one hold no it is on the next roll yeah cool and um, um, sorry you're saying he shares stories yeah he's sort of uh he says, he says, I remember the day uh, that your father uh, broke with the Magisterium. Uh, and we see a flashback to uh, a, uh, it's a candlelit black chamber. Uh, some of the supernatural characters that we've already seen are present. Um, the black dog, uh, um, um, La Femme Pendo various others, um, and including uh, Mr. Zinn. But uh, La Femme Pendo is sort of uh, staring furiously at uh, your father, among others. Um, so we see uh, a picture, and they're all in the order tab, of the uh, avatar of Egyptian justice, Baron Carr. Uh, another shadow knight who looks like uh, a James Bondish 60s figure with a sword and an umbrella. Uh, the raven, who is a Nordic spirit of magic and mystery, Apollo, a grossly incandescent hero uh, of, of fire and light. An Irish spirit of fire who is Aed. Uh, Orisha, who is a um, Budan spirit, and Sita, an Indian warrior, all of them mystic heroes. Um, and the Femme Pando is pointing at your father and says, we have no place in the uh, world of men. Our place is in the hidden world. This will end with nothing but pain and suffering for you and yours. I ask you not to step into the light. And I think the team sort of looks at her and says, um, I think Apollo says, our powers and the things that we can do, we shouldn't be hiding. We should be helping. We've made our choice. We are stepping into the light. A righteous man fears not the light of day. Uh, and the page, uh, the page flips. Uh, and we see uh, at that point the uh, a car coming up the drive, uh, a figure getting out, older, at this point not glowing, 
but still the Apollo we saw, and he opens the door to the house. <clears throat> uh, let's have a little flashback scene as it is the morning after the teleportation incident, uh, and we see uh, Bear's two mothers um, looking, uh, arms folded, um, that sort of look that uh, furious mothers have, uh, and there's the four of you sitting across the table from them. There are, of course, breakfast uh, uh, provisions because uh, uh, Miriam would never dream of not feeding her son and their guest, but she is cross-armed <laughs> and looking at all of you, especially Bea. Uh, and you know this game, Bayer. They're not going to speak first. They're going to wait till you or someone else cracks. I'm eating breakfast. I, I, I'm, breakfast is there. I'm going to eat first. I, I've made a sandwich out of toast, and the egg and the bacon are inside the sa uh, in, are inside the sandwich. Cool. So this, 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 is, this is a telling off breakfast. So it's a good and hearty one, then, right? So there, there's usually this is looking at. The, uh, uh, at all of you, uh, without saying anything, Marisol points to the three of you and at the breakfast table, uh, offer to help yourself. But they are sitting cross armed and looking at all of you. Well, so, so is clearly uncomfortable. They don't eat, so they just stare at the food and they don't feel very welcome, but they don't really want to get up here. So they're mostly looking at Bea, like, this is your place. <clears throat> Thank you, mams. And Ash will have some hearty granola. Yeah, I think, um, I think that um, Rick will kind of, um, um, you know, sit down uh, quietly um, and he'll kind of start like just putting, loading his plate with food and then kind of like catch himself and like, put a couple of bits back before he starts eating. Uh, so, it's Marisol who uh, um, speaks first and says, so, do you like to introduce us to your friends, Bayer? We weren't expecting guests last night. Um, uh, yeah, I, 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 I would love to. They're, they're really, they're my friends. They're really cool. Um, this is, uh, this is Ash. He's all about the fire. Um, this is Rick. He's all about the darkness. Yeah, um, and this is, this is Sai. You, you don't eat, right? That's not your whole deal. It's just that you don't really no. eat right now. No, I don't. I don't. Sorry. I just don't. Marisol gasps uh, uh, with horror of, of realizing that she has breached the rules of Southern hospitality and not thought about feeding her uh, undead table guest. Uh, uh, and instead uh, uh, goes off to rustle up uh, something uh, that might be appealing to uh, undead zombie boys. Um, uh, zombie, Mary... not a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Cold out. Uh, <laughs> yes, I misgendered you. Apologies. Um, uh, but the, uh, it's the, the sort of um, uh, Miriam sort of looks and at you and says, and you four hang out together and do what exactly? Well, not to be childish about it, we kind of fight crime, I guess. <laughs> in, in, in the intellectual sense, we're more like a study group, you know, we, 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 we we try to gather information about, you know, about how the communities here in the city work and make, we, we're interested in helping to make sure they work well for others. Isn't that right? We do normal everyday kid stuff, right? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, yeah. I guess we, we went to a musical event. Party, went to a party. Needed somewhere to crash afterwards. And you didn't, uh, you didn't trash uh, a vampire court and the person who comes here uh, that we sort out most mornings from the Sapphire Court didn't see you there last night, did they? That's ridiculous. Everyone knows vampires don't exist. <laughs> uh, you're gonna, you're gonna uh, have to uh, provoke them. Sure. <laughs> Adults. Bear's eyes is straying to her bag that they packed for her that's full of steaks and <laughs> uh, I get an eight sure. on provoke. Ooh. So on a seven to nine, uh the eight can to choose one. They... That's for players for in oh yeah, sorry, yeah, that's, for, that's for NPCs, yeah. They can instead choose one, they stumble forward uh against you, they air or they overreact and uh, you gain influence over them. <clears throat> they choose. Um, so I think, uh, I think they uh, err on their, uh, make an error in their judgment and say, oh, nobody uh, at all uh, ever believes in vampires, do they, uh, Prometheus? Uh, and um, then uh, uh, as she sort of says that um, uh, sorry, uh, Miriam comes back in she has a, a steaming bowl of something which seems to have herbs in it and it smells astounding sigh uh, as she puts it down in front of you and then she looks at um, she looks at um uh, Marisol, who's just said that, sorry, the other way around, Marisol looks at Miriam, who's just sort of uh, blurted that out and goes, you're not supposed to tell them we know what's going on. So you do know what's going on. Not that I didn't realize it, it's just, it's nice to have that out in the open. Thanks. Well, you're the one who's going out working with forces you barely understand. And you understand them better? Are the next are you gonna tell me that you're actually uh, moonlighting as some kind of superhero force, huh? Um, are you part of the order? <laughs> she saw the, the look at you say, no. And they make eye contact with each other and then look away <laughs> and say, we just help people who come to town. This is place draws them. We tend to know things. Bayer is like your, your chosen name, right? That's not your real name. Yeah. Your, your mom seemed cool though, right? So if, if you've told them not to call you by any other name, they won't call you by any other name. So I'm asking for consent by this. But if, if, you, if you do have a, uh, a more nerdy first name that they call you by when you're in trouble, what, what, what do they do? Do they use your chosen name or will they ever call you out by your real name or your, your real name or originally given name? Yeah. Um, I think if oh, I'm in trouble, they will call me out by my originally chosen name. It's just that I don't know what that name is yet. It has to start with an M because this, 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 fa this family is full of dorks. Um, so I, yeah, I think about that. Let's see. See, I'm going to Miriam. Marisol. Oh, uh, her name is Malitel. Malitel, was that? Yeah. They call you by that, right? And then they sort of looks at you and sort of says, <clears throat> is you're dabbling with things that you don't understand and you're traveling with uh, people. They said, you're, you're traveling with, with some serious company. <clears throat> says, Sorry, I had a hiccup on internet there for a second. Says, you know, I don't, I don't think you're ready for this, uh, says uh, Miriam. So she's telling you uh, who you are, uh, Bear. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to reject that. Sure, why not? I just roll. 
do I have a condition that's going to, oh, you don't. That's a five. <laughs> so, uh, don't worry too much about masking condition. This is a flashback scene and time will have passed, right? So, but do, do take uh, the rest of it. Immediately, I immediately shift one of your labels uh, up. Um, I was uh, going to put, I was going to put your superior down and your Monday up, but that's, that's like already the case. So, uh, well, let's, let's Just mark, give me conditions. yeah, let's, let's mark, let's mark, um, effectively you've marked, uh, two conditions at the end of this one. So do mark them just in case something else happens in the scene that puts you onto five conditions and it all goes terribly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I lose these two, but I gain two more that's going to stick over for while I'm grounded. Cause of death, yeah. awkward breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, all right, I'm going to get rid of hopeless and afraid. It came from being near Psy. I'm sorry. Um, and I'm going to put insecure and angry for sure. Um, I'm be and... called out in front of my friends. Says... Why well, say I <laughs> she she looks at the last of the three of you and says <clears throat> which of you is in charge? Oh, I look at Ash but I'm not saying anything. Listen, maybe you failed to prepare your child for what the world's really like. But some of us have no choice. Uh, and you'll look over it, and Ash will look over at Sai and Rick. Um, so, the, 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 on the matter of preparing their, their child, um, uh, Miriam... Also, I might want to provoke B with that. Is that fair? Uh, yeah. Sweet. Um, five plus a pure. It's a seven. Um, so I kind of want B to argue the point with me. Um, <laughs> and if they do it, they get to add a team to the pool. Oh, okay. I mean, we need more team, I guess. Uh, team fights to create more team bonding, right? Uh, yeah. It's just, I, I don't know. After that big shutdown on her, I don't know. She's... Because she's thinking now about what they actually accomplished that night. They found out some apparently basic stuff about the vampire courts that her mom's just casually tossed out. She's yeah. really feeling <laughs> insecure. <laughs> Um, and then you're you're calling her mom's out as well. Yeah, and you be as well, saying that B's not ready. Yeah, the little dig. Yeah, it's, it 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 kind of hurts a bit. Um, <laughs> so I think Ash just says precisely the wrong verbiage to like not get B uh, to do any of this. Um, if that's okay with you. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Andrea. B doesn't bite. That's cool. Yeah. So, she's just move on. There. She sort of, um, she, uh, I think, uh, as, as you're saying that, um, uh, Marisol uh, takes a sip of her tea and says, well, we did teach them, did teach bad disciplines and manners. So, if you want to hang out with uh, Bea again, uh, I want to establish some ground rules, but I'm not going to establish them with you. I'm going to establish them with your father. <clears throat> Why don't you send him to see me? <clears throat> I shall tell him you ask for him. <clears throat> and I apologize if I've outstepped your hospitality. So we, uh, our hospitality is uh, always there, young man. Uh, the rest of the breakfast is probably uh, uncomfortable, but uh, a good 
uh, week will pass unless anyone else wants to establish anything else before we turn the page on this scene. So I I will, I just will say that Sai did not try to eat or drink any of that stuff that Marisol brought up, but there are um, breathing it in, breathing the scent. And it is, it is, uh, it is nourishing. Okay. So, uh, everyone other than uh, Bayer for some uh, uh, astounding roles uh, can clear any established conditions. <clears throat> okay. Uh, over the, the week that's uh, between then and now, uh, we see uh, a, a few uh, other things happening uh, and rumors that you get from uh, the city. Um, in fact, I'm going to establish uh, one other thing before that happens. So let's close the scene for another bit where the door to the shop uh, opens and uh, in comes uh, Sherry Camo, um, who uh, is the Meridian Witch and waves to everyone in the shop uh, and sort of waves to Bayer and says, Hey, Bayer. Hey, Sherry. I uh, haven't seen you here in a while. Oh, well, um, I sort of felt it was a bit, yeah, you, you know, but anyway, um, uh, I'm, I'm here, I'm here for, uh, for Sai, uh, um, the uh, uh, Le Femme Pando uh, asks if you would be uh, taking her up on her offer. Uh, well, um, I guess, yeah. Wait, you two know each other? Yeah, we met in the sewers. Okay, that sounded more weird than I thought it would. Sorry. I, I didn't think either of you hung out, hung out in nope. sewers. Uh, well, I was uh, checking up on the laboratory we blew up. And I'm oh. looking over at the moms and hope that they didn't hear that. Oh, yeah, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Sin's place. Okay, I get why you're there. Why were you there? Uh, she points an uh, accusatory pe pen at, at Sherry. <laughs> when you say Mr. Sin, uh, Miriam's uh, face troll drops of drops and she looks at everyone and then um, uh, Sherry says, uh, well, I was there to find uh, Sai LaRue. Why were you there? And she points back at you. You're muted. Um, um, I'm just, I'm just like babbling. Um. Oh, <laughs> okay. Sorry. I, well, I don't know. You tell me, what do you think I was doing there? Hmm. Uh, I imagine you were uh, being out of your depth, meddling with things that you barely understand, but looking cool while doing it. Well, at least we agree on one part of that entire sentence. I'm probably eating ice cream. <laughs> you say that as if it's a bad thing. Anyway, look... Um, so I, uh, for, and for everyone, hi everybody else, but if uh, um, Bear's not going to introduce me, uh, my name is Sherry and we used to date. Oh, so we're suddenly broadcasting that for everyone? <clears throat> she sort of looks at you and says, well, I was never ashamed of you, Bear. <laughs> I, that's that's not what I meant. So the two of you look like you'd made a cute couple, um, and and then he continues shoveling bacon into his mouth. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take my leave. It's always a pleasure to see you, Bear. Sai, I look forward to seeing you soon. 
Oh, and I'm not supposed to come with you now. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know how this works. You can come now. You can finish cool. your breakfast. You can... Oh, I'm not much into eating things, so... Hey, let's bounce then. Yes, thank you for, for the hospitality, Miss... Um, her name. Yeah, you don't know. That's not... <laughs> In character, it makes sense you wouldn't know if today is not telling anyone. I'm William uh, Conception and I'm Marisol Conception, says the other one. Um, Oh. uh, Um, Yeah, thank you. Anyways, uh, bye. Sorry about the floor. Says says that's absolutely fine. They are only working extra shifts and it's paid off. Oh, but I, I, I. Broke it, so I I should kind of pay it off, in some it's, way. It's it's, it's fine. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Sorry. Okay. So you were guests. That ain't hospitality. I'm sure you didn't mean it. No, I didn't. <laughs> um. So that anyone else want to establish anything? Um. In the panels uh, between uh, over the coming week, we see um, uh, we see Sila Roo, uh in discussion and training with La Femme Pando. Um, what does that look like, Sai? Hmm. What does she want to train me in? Being more ghosty, or being more alifey, or? More Both? control. I think oh. the choice is your, the, the choice that you make, Silaro, is yourself, is your own. But you need to, you will have to make a decision one day whether you wish to step back into the light or live in the shadows. Kind of like shadows. So kind of like shadows. People like us do not believe it long in uh, the um, in the world of light. We are creatures of the hidden world. Okay, then I think what she what that looks like is mostly that she teaches me to be more translucent, I guess, and less noticeable to normal people, more ghosty. Excellent. Uh, we uh, hear of sightings of uh, Duke, or at least someone that sounds like Duke, who's uh, um, has been. Uh, directly picking off uh, members of the Emerald Court, which the Nosferatu looking uh, blood vampires. Um, Ash, what have you been doing in this time, if anything, uh, to try and uh, track him down? I mean, he probably, I guess he never went back to Ash's place. Uh, There's only so many places in the city where a kid with very little money and very little resources can stay. So he's probably probably been checking out at a lot of the uh, shelters, dingy hotel, motels, um, the kind of places the down and outs or desperate might end up. And keeping an ear out for anyone who's uh, been going around with a sword. Like concealed carry is one thing, but uh, swords are bit crazy yeah more, more challenging okay so we cut from the scenes uh, I th- you, you will be successful but we'll come back to that um once we get back out of the the flash back and <clears throat> rick what um unexpected and uh slightly worrying gift does your uh sister send you like you know i think to describe it as a crown would would be overdoing it slightly but it's it's definitely um like a um a metal uh one almost like one of those yeah m- more like a kind not not like tiara in the sense of being like lacy and 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 uh, delicate but it's it's that sort of metal uh band um and i think it's like um uh 
uh, rather than being, um, uh, you know, like a made out of precious metal. It's um, it's like um, uh, blackened um, cast iron, um, and I think it comes in a fancy like uh, um, ebony box with with sort of uh, velvet lining. Excellent. <clears throat> So we'll flash forward back to the present day and would anyone like to establish a scene with anyone else at this present moment in time? I think I will return to the bookstore at one point. Mm -hmm. um, and I think he ha they have managed to kind of lay their hands on some Let's say some, something a loss that uh, actually brought a pretty penny. So they will go and uh, try to uh, repay the debt for destroying the floor because that's still eating a bit. It shouldn't have happened like that. And they will look for Bea probably because they know her best. So. Bea, how have they, how have they, when they say you're grounded, how seriously do you take it uh, when you're grounded? Um, they know that um, Bea likes researching and knowing about stuff, so they're not really stopped that. It's just that she's not really allowed to be out of the house or the store um, these days. There's a curfew uh, for sure. And I think um, Bea's like, feeling down enough to at least respect the, the curfew of being at the store, but hasn't stopped her from like looking up stuff um, and trying to find specific things, um, specifically about the vampire courts. But I think like when Sai comes over, uh, Bay is just like taking a break from her shift and she's <laughs> on a chair near the reception, uh, fast asleep. Oh. Um, with like a book in her hand it looks it looks old and dog-eared but you see it's just a, a novelization of the movie adventures in babysitting um, <laughs> and she, she is just kind of like sitting there like fast asleep she's got her sunglasses on so you can't tell that if not for her snoring really loudly you can tell she was asleep if she's dreaming i think i can tell that she's asleep i will leave her and just stop just wait, I guess, and, and look at what she's dreaming about a little. She's she's been she's been tucked up, um, and there's a dream catcher uh, uh, sort of on the desk uh, in front of her. But uh, you would be welcome if you were to see what she's dreaming about to uh, maybe, well, do you want to unleash your powers and enter their mind? Would you like to pierce their mask and learn something about them? I think I would like to pierce the mask because uh, she's pretty much of a mystery to me, if that's all right, Leandro. Cool. Then I will try to do that because I'm terrible at it anyway. And I need more XP. Uh, no, that's not the reason. Uh, I rolled with mundane, right? I'm not that terrible anymore. Wee. It's with mundane though. Yeah. Okay, so it's a nine. Wee. So, uh, you, have you influence get to ask. Oh, over... yes, you do have influence, don't you? Do you have influence? I think I might have influence. Let me look. At the character keeper, I have influence over Bea, so that's ten. Nice. She can ask three questions. Of oh my Bea. gosh. Um, I think um, what I would like to ask first is how do I think could I get you to help me find my killer? I think you get the sense that Bea is like easily pulled forward by mysteries and mm -hmm. something cool happening. All you have to do is ask. Okay, cool. Um, mm -hmm. um, is, is there anything you want, want me to do? Um, ooh. I think in the future, I think you get a sense that like she feels somewhat uneasy about their friends 
and kind of about Sai specifically since she was in the vicinity when you went full horrible un- supernatural monster I think um, she wants less of that well no not in that sense but more in the more in the uh, I mean it sucks to say be less scary but that's kind yeah. of like what she, she is feeling right now like she wants to talk to you not in not be near you when you do that okay i think i'm I'm good with these questions actually i don't i think i already might have influence over you anyway or maybe not I tell you oh, what she's dreaming about uh, and oh wait she's the one who knows me right yeah oh ah, okay cool 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 i just forgot about that otherwise i would have asked you how to how would I get you to tell me what you know about me? All right, maybe can, can I ask the same question twice for two different things? Yeah, go for it. Cool. Yeah, well, how, how would I get you to tell me what you know about me? Oh, that one's trickier because it's about stuff she's put behind. Um, she feels the question is, well, I think you guys sense there is a bit of uneasiness. I think we... We kind of vaguely established that she barely, uh, she knew Mm -hmm. like your name and all of you. Maybe like, I think just add a wrinkle to that. I think you get the sense of like, yeah, they knew all of you. Okay. And knew not nice things, at least rumors. Things that don't have to be true, you know? Um, Probably not, but like. Okay, but obviously no. feel free to change that if like you think that's not no, true. that that's cool, uh, because that would mean that Sai would right now I wouldn't ask, so that's fine, it's cool, I like it. Can I say at least what what how, you you how what she's dreaming? <laughs> well, you're, oh yeah, sure. Uh, she's dreaming of making out with that vampire lady. Um, not at the court, but like at a at the boardwalk next to like the river. It's Stop just, watching. Yeah, it's it's kind of this. It's, Our, their their dialogue is disgusting. It's so sweet. It's <laughs> sickening. Like uh, things you know that she wouldn't say, or that vampire lady. Uh, what was her name? Devil doll. Devil doll. Yeah, yeah. Things that, that that lady wouldn't say either. It's it's far too sweet. They're sharing candied apples. Ugh. Um, really, really should stop watching. It's the point. It's that's the point where Devil Doll turns her face. She her eyes go black, and you see her sharp teeth, and she says, "It's not." A light to stare, uh, and you're pushed out of the dream. Oops. <laughs> if you if you will kiss a psychic vampire, I knew I knew the consequences. Actually, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but um, cool. Uh, let's turn the page on that scene and, uh, as I say, let's go back to the um, ordinary looking uh, house that uh, Ash lives in. Um, what is um, what does Apollo look like when they're in, in normal form, Ash? In my head, I can uh, picture a youngish Jimmy Smiths. Cool. Like, you know, he's handsome, he's charismatic, he's very well built. How old is he? Um, he is probably in his mid thirties. Mm-hmm. So him and Ash's mum would have been very early twenties when they had Ash, maybe nineteen, twenty, yeah, that age. So he comes through the door. He puts the keys uh, in the bowl, hangs his jacket up, takes off his shoes, uh, goes straight into the bathroom to wash his hands, and then sort of uh, walks towards the kitchen, fills up the coffee machine, and switches it on. Um, he hasn't said uh, anything uh, yet. Once the coffee uh, machine finishes, he to put two uh, mugs on the kitchen table, one at each side, and he sits on one, um, 
puts the sugar bowl down, brings the coffee jug over, tops up his cup, and then points and gestures to the other seat for you to take a seat. Yeah, Ashton goes and sits. Is there a cup of coffee in front of him? Uh, he, the jug's there, so yes, yeah, for you to fill if you want the yeah. coffee. He'll make himself a short black. <clears throat> and blow on it quite a bit to cool it down. So. The, uh, on the grapevine, something went down. Yeah. The uh, Minervas would like to uh, speak to you about how myself and their daughter spend time together. It's okay. It's not romancy stuff. He sips the coffee and says, Ash, I, as long as you're safe, I trust your judgment on that. Yeah, so Gramps uh, hooked me up with a protege of an old friend of his, the Shadow Knight, who uh, was wanting to investigate some vampire cells. Ended up taking us to the vampire masquerade and abandoning us. Kind of got a bit hairy. We got out. So I didn't realize you'd formed a team. Yeah, after we um, stopped the uh, obsidian guy coming back, we stayed in touch. Page, uh, we see a, a sort of a, 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 a faraway look in uh, Apollo's eyes as the page turns, and we're in another flashback scene where the order are in uh, a four color panel uh, where Baron Carr is um, fighting Cardinal Noctis and sending him spiraling into the underworld uh, and the team celebrate uh, high-fiving each other. He says, I remember when um, I put back to the present, he says, I remember when our team came together. It's good to have friends. It is. So you've decided to come out into the light? Dad, what am I going to do in the light? I'm not you. I'm... I'm not beautiful. I'm not strong yet. Like, I need to stay in the shadows and figure my way out. Like, maybe one day, but... I'm not that guy. I'm not you yet. I think I'd like it if I could be you one day. He takes another sip of his coffee and says, Am I your grandfather? No. You're my father. Am I like your grandfather? No. Some days, you both... You both believe in duty. You both believe the individual gives their best. You both can be quite strict but beyond that beyond the order no you're nothing like he sort of takes another sip of the coffee and says Ash I hope I raise you to be your own man not my shadow not my father's shadow and not the fathers that go before us Every one of us has done this differently. And you're going to have to figure it out. You're going to have to figure out who you are. <clears throat> and you're going to have to do it faster than you're doing it. And he's telling you who you are. I accept. Uh, I'm going to put your uh, uh, danger uh, up. I'm going to put your uh, superior down. And I will take one XP and carry one forward. Woo! Everybody wins. <laughs> he says, I know you... He says, I didn't realise that someone else had picked up the sword. 
I knew uh, the Shadow Knight. This kid, there's something wrong with him. He came talking a story of wanting to get to the bottom of these vampire cells that had been coming from here, but when we got in there, in fact, before we got in there, he was all about just wanting to kill the head of the Emerald Court. And the minute things got slightly wrong, he was gone. His father, Clint, he sort of, again, the page uh, flips to a flashback where we see uh, an older man who looks uh, like a, a cab driver of madman uh, with an umbrella uh, and a sword, uh, and they're fighting furiously as hordes of vampires are um, uh, swarming over them. And <clears throat> The vampires killed him, trying to take control of Union City, New City, uh, New Hope City. That's where he based himself. He and the rest of the order he'd been training are gone. That's when I'm surprised that someone picked up the sword. I, I didn't think anyone would have left. We need to I find think, his son. I think he's on a revenge trip. And... I think he's actually managing to kill some of them, but I don't fancy his chances. Nor do I. Um, nor do I fancy him destabilizing things enough that they go into a full uh, out uh, fighting war. <laughs> he sort okay. of again finishes his coffee at this point and um, takes out a, uh, a cigarette from a packet puts in his mouth, touches it with his finger, and it lights. Um, and he says, you ready for a team-up with your old man? Or you want to sort this out on your own? I'll find him and I'll have words with him. Set this straight. But if I need help, and we can't handle it, is my old man up for playing with the kids? <laughs> he says, you know you what you need to do. Light the flame. Call my name. Okay. Thanks, Dad. And um, then he goes uh, and says, I, I better speak to your uh, father. And then they sort of deteriorate into a bit of a, a shouting match, going like, what are you telling my son? He goes, I'm telling him how to uphold the legacy. That's nothing to do with legacy. How much have you been drinking? Uh, and it sort of explodes out into a fight as the panel uh, uh, closes and the page. Turns. Yeah, that sounds about right. <coughs> Rick, we haven't heard uh, much from you yet. Where, where has Rick been over the last week? Um, I think I think mostly uh, Rick's been trying to keep his head down. Um, um, he's he's sort of been, um, yeah, you know, doing his uh, um, uh, doing his um, sort of uh, street magic tricks along along the uh, uh, the big tourist drag. Um, um, I think he's spent a couple of nights back in the um, in the. Uh, uh, the cathedral since, but um, mo mo mostly, I think, just just sort of um, uh, getting by uh, for the last last few days. <clears throat> okay. Do you want to uh, frame a scene with any of the other characters at this point? Yeah, um, I'm actually wondering if maybe. Um, uh while ash is out like looking for duke i think that um um uh that rick's going to just sort of um yeah um like uh, uh come up on him well hey yeah um so yeah i think maybe i'm checking out a couple of dive bars the kind of places where a dude who really likes denim and leather jackets might hang, hang out um, is that the kind of place you might be near? 
Um, I think it's, I think it's actually probably, I think, um, so I think the way I'll, I'll, I'll from, as I think maybe you've, you've sort of gone in there and I think like um, Rick wanders in just a, a few, um, a few minutes after and just comes and like, uh, you know, sits next to you at the bar or wherever you've, uh, you, you, you've, you've posted yourself. Oh, um, hey man, how's, uh, how's things going? Did not expect to see you today. Uh, 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 I, I assume you've been looking for Duke. I heard uh, a few guys been saying you've been uh, asking around. Yeah, trying to track him down. He's on the vampire kill streak. And we need to stop him before they do or before he lights a fire under the city. You're probably right. I mean, the the vamps can be uh, well. I don't want to say a pain in the neck, but you know what I mean. I do know what you mean. There. How are you? Ah, uh, not too bad. I've just been keeping my head down. Uh, uh but I, I think I think you got the right of it. We need to. Uh, we need to have a word with Duke. He's he's gonna get well. He's gonna get himself killed, but he'll probably get some other people killed along the way. Yeah, he's gonna get a lot of people killed if he does keeps doing what he's been doing. Hell, he almost got us killed. Oh, I knew it was coming. I just desperately wanted to do something right and. I wanted to show my grandfather that I could be trusted to perform our duties. I mean, look, there's there's nothing wrong with wanting to help people. That's uh, perfectly understandable. And I mean, I can't even say that Duke's entirely wrong in what he's going about. I mean, a lot of folk get hurt by the vampires. It's I think they killed his master back in uh, the other city. Yeah, that'd, uh, that'd do it, I guess. Uh, I, I can't say as I know much about the, the vampires. I, I perhaps should learn more about them, but the way I look at it, there's plenty of them that go out there and hurt people and whatever else and we'd probably be better off without them all told but I don't know I don't get the impression that it's exactly a thing you sign on the dotted line to do you know what I mean yeah I know what you mean maybe that's it maybe everyone just gets catapulted into these weird outworldly situations and just has to do the best they can I mean the way I look at it B is the uh, only one of us who's uh, chosen this life and well, she's probably the most normal of all of us so okay. I don't know what that says Both yeah, be clear, close to, or I may have hit your team moves. I don't want to cut you off too much, role play, but just to keep my eye The vulnerability ones, anyway. So yeah, I... some some stuff going on in my family just now, Rick. Like. My granddad wants me to stay in the shadows doing what we're doing. But I think my dad would really like it if I became a real hero with him and took up the torch, literally. And I mean, a face like mine, I don't think I'm built to be 
in newspapers and magazines and news shows. But maybe I need to cling to the darkness. I don't know. You you got to do what whatever makes you, whatever you think's right for you. Uh, I, I and honestly, I can't say which which that is. I don't. I don't think you need to worry about. I don't think you need to worry about your face getting out of that though. And I mean, hell, if it really comes down to it, you can always wear a mask. But I think you need to decide. what it is you want and which is the best way of getting that. I just want to be good enough. <laughs> well, that's easy enough. I think you're most of the way there already. I don't know. If it wasn't for these tricks, I think we would have been a Buffy. I'm sure we could have uh, pulled some enough between us, but yeah, I mean, <sighs> there ain't no way we were going to take on the whole, all the vampires in the damn city. That was never going to happen. If Duke thought that's what the plan was, then he was very much mistaken. Yeah. I need to start getting better faster. Like, I don't know how we're going to how I'm going to do it though. Well, first thing we're going to have to find is Duke. Sit down, have a word with him, try and get speak some sense into his mind. It's going to be difficult, no doubt about that. But okay. Right, um, I give you an influence over me. You already have an influence over me, so do feel free to mess with my stats, if you please. Sure thing. Um, right. I do that. Oh, sorry. No, no, it's okay. I think I'm going to put your savior up um, and your... Ooh... I think freak down actually based on what I said. I think yeah, save your up freak down. Cool. Yeah, let's find Duke. Um, I really want to find Mary Andrew and help Sai put an end to I guess the mystery of his murder, their mother their murder, sorry. Yeah, uh, I think that's a, that sounds like a plan. We we kind of have someone wandering around, often kids, and it's I think that's the point where uh, a large biker guy uh, puts his hand on your shoulder, Ash, and spins you around. Ash has spun round. He looks at you and he goes, he goes, I hear you're asking questions around here. We don't like your sword around here. Who the hell are you supposed to be? What do you mean my sword? He, he sort of looks at you and he goes, he says, dude, you shouldn't be allowed in a public with a face like that. How big's this guy? About six, four, six, five, uh, under yeah, probably a bit, an undertaker size. Oh shit! Ash is gonna look at him, look up and go. How old are you, Mister? Forty-five, fifty. What right have you got picking on a kid? Huh? <laughs> You Half your size. Picking <laughs> on a child. I'm going to try and provoke him into backing off. 
Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Making these uh, accusations quite loudly. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I get to add superior, so that's a seven, and I get to take one forward, so that's an eight. But my god, those dice were bad. Uh, oh no, shit, my superior's one. Uh, that's six. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, okay. Rick? Uh, to, to, to which point he says... <coughs> <coughs> He looks at you and he says, what do you say, boy? I'm going to smack the ugly out of you. Uh, and he uh, winds up for a punch. Uh, and he's going to uh, hit you unless someone tries to defend you. Yeah, I think, um, I think, that, uh, I think that Rick is going to... Um, I, think for, I think at the moment Rick still just kind of um, um, sat, uh, sat, like still, still with his back to the man. But he's, he's, we can kind of see him like... Um, just like clocking him in like the mirror behind the uh, behind the bar sort of thing, mm-hmm. um, and I think he's just going to. Um, uh, we just see like a, 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 um, a tendril of shadow, um, like creeping out from under the bar stool to to grab him by the uh, grab him by the leg and trip him as he comes in for the punch. Okay, if you roll a defend, you and are successful, you'll be able to make uh, an escape without any further escalation. That's a seven. Uh, so that instead means that uh, do you expose yourself to danger or escalate the situation? But you do manage to uh, either take team or influence over um, all clear condition. So what would you like to do? Expose yourself to danger uh, or escalate? I think I'm going to expose myself to danger uh, with that one. Um, I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to escalate the situation. But yeah, I think. I think maybe I'm. I'm in. Uh... Uh, so I think as you as you do that and try to trip him, he uh, corrects uh, his uh, trip quickly and uh, uh, takes the bottle you were drinking for and plunks you uh, across the head, inflicting a condition. Sure, and I think I'm just going to take the path of least resistance and go for angry. So he's going to point to both of you two. So you got to get out of here, and you can see others standing up around the bar now. And I don't want to see you uh, with your uh, your kooky garb or you with your ugly face back in here ever again. Yeah, come on, man. Let's get out of here. Leave these tra- trash to their drinks. Can I try and pierce the mask before we go? Yep. Oh, Jesus. No, I cannot. Well, think of all the potential you're getting. <laughs> yeah. Failures are catching up with me now. Good work. Um, you, yeah, I just you miss. Sort of, you stare at him uh, just a little too long. Um, um, and I'm pretty sure that's the point. We won't role play through it too much, but that's the point where it does goes. You, know, you had your chance, kid, and then it escalates into a uh, into a bar fight. Mm, okay, we we fight our way out, I guess. It's it's not it's not a fair fight, right? They're, these aren't supernatural uh, uh, kids. They're <laughs> just they're just they're just uh, rednecks. Um, who are uh, who need some educating about treating people with disabilities and deformity right? Uh, yeah, but you help them do that by kicking their my salty asses. Um, that's fine. They're given a beating. It's just it's not very subtle, and someone can easily have followed your trail. Yep. I think that's the panel uh, as you sort of see them coming uh, towards you and the two of you sort of look at each other, uh, and we at that point will probably take uh, a short break for about five minutes or so uh, and come back and probably put the team together yay i'll see you uh on the hour 
So we come out of that uh, uh, fight scene in the bar. The team, uh, I think, let's bring everyone uh, together. Uh, Where, oh, David, uh, we were in the middle of a scene with Bea. She was just sleeping and I wanted to talk to her. Oh, then I will uh, not reframe. Let's go back to, to Bea if you're going to wake her. Um, I'm waiting until she wakes up by herself, but uh, other than that, yeah, because I wanted to talk to her, I, not I just think, okay. watch her dream. I think after, uh, uh, I think after Devil Doll spots you, um, uh, uh, awakes probably with a, a fit, unlikely falls off the uh, chair that they were sitting on. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, they barely catch, their glasses fly off, or their sunglasses fly off, they barely just catch it. It's just, <sighs> oh, uh, sorry, I did not mean to startle you. Well, no, it, it's it's fine. Hi, hi, uh, hi, hi. Um, hey, uh, because you know, you remember the, that that floor I kind of destroyed, and I thought I mean you said it was okay, but I. Don't, didn't feel like it was okay. Shouldn't have been okay. Don't go to a person's house for the first time and, and destroy the floor. That's not all right, right? Is it? It's not. Well, in in fairness, you didn't oh. know you were. Did I? You were you were roboting a bit there. Yeah, yeah. My computer told me. Yeah. Well, in fairness, you didn't know you were coming there. I, well, I, I guess I said I'd get you all out. It's just I didn't. I probably should have specified it would have been my room. Then maybe the other floor or my tomes would have been destroyed. Um, it's fine. It's fine. Look, it, it's fine. I'm, I'm, um, Mom's okay. Got I guess uh, I, I just thought I kind of found some stuff. I mean. You know, uh, sometimes people lose stuff and then you find it and then, I mean, I don't have much use for money anyway. Yeah. Actually, where do you stay? Um, like, you just... I don't sleep. Oh. Really? No. Uh, that's probably creepy, right? I'm, I'm sorry. I don't mean to creep you out. I. Uh, no, well... Not sleeping sounds. Honestly, if I could do without sleeping, I would don't get so much done. Uh, yeah, I don't get chill. anything done. What are, you mean, looking, what are you looking to do? I just want to find this person who killed me, right? I mean, somebody did, and I still don't really know what, why, or what what was going on, or or who I was before I got killed, even. If I hadn't, if you, if you hadn't told me that my name was Silo Ru, I wouldn't even know that. Yeah. Well, I thought... You, you she, didn't make that up, right? N no, no. I, I, okay. I, I, did. I wouldn't do that. I'm, I'm not a lying liar who lies. That's, that's, that's not what I do. Um, <laughs> but I thought you going with Sherry's teacher or whatever, I thought that was to help you find it out. Yeah, I think she wants me to find my place in the world. And I think she wants me to, I don't know, really know what she, she, she wants me to, to do or be something. I don't know why. I don't understand it. It's a big question to ask, um, especially for they're witches. So I guess they just found you and made you an offer, right? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. They found me and told me that I would have to decide if I want to stay in the shadows or want to be was I'm so confused about the whole thing to be to be perfectly honest oh yeah but that's what they do they confuse people it's just uh uh Bea's taking her book and it's like her Avengers and babysitting book and just flicking through it's like well see that's the thing they don't like it when people come to them being like, oh, I know kind of like your deal. So they like to be mysterious. They like to have control of the information. They like to keep you in the dark. They're, they're manipulative like that, see? Um, mm -hmm. Just because I 
keep me first, making me the least of everything that happens. So, they've just been asking you big, ridiculous questions, huh? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, they have they have helped me to find out that that this Mary Andrew person killed me, or that pretty much they told me actually. I don't know if that's it's probably. I think it's true. Uh. Oh, it feels kind of something about that feels like it was something that had happened. Well, the thing they are also. Most witches aren't lying liars who lie. Well, they'll lie when they can, but when they want to hook you in, they're, they'll be... It's bait, you know? Mm -hmm. I bet you they knew more about Mary Andrew than what they're telling. They're just stringing you along, you know? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I know exactly what you're saying. I, I, I feel that there is a catch with what she's telling me and teaching me and helping me with. And I, it doesn't, doesn't feel like when I talk to you I get I don't I don't know I, I I get the feeling that you are kind of there like you're not you're not like oh I'm too mysterious to talk to you I mean you are mysterious but not in a in a, in a contrived way you know that makes her feel much better uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's good to know I guess um, look I know it's, I'm still a bit kind of grounded, but I, I, I can convince my mom of anything I fear, I, I think. But if you need help, if you need more help looking into this, like, I'm here. Um, I want to help. Thank you. That's very nice of you. I mean, I, I wish I knew uh, who I, who I, was so that I had any relation to what I feel like, you know? You probably don't, but uh, anyway, it's uh, words. Is this you doing your team vulnerability move? Oh, totally. <laughs> okay, making sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to. Um, um, and I, I will, will ask you, I, I don't even know if I, if I, if I'm, if I, since, since all, I've started hanging out with all of you, I have walked away from being a person, a teenager, kid, someone, or if I'm just becoming a ghost of, of someone I don't even remember. Well, I think if we find out who you are, who did this to you, then we can, then at least we can stop you being a ghost, you know? stop this maybe we can help pull you back um i, I mean, stopped me being dead well, i don't know if we can change that there's like theories but no one's ever unless you know unless you do what the vampires do but that's just moving from one kind of life to another it's, it is kind of like being a ghost but um at the very least you should you should know where you came from right yeah. Yeah, I, that's that's probably you're probably right. I should know where I where I came from. Uh, that's Bea evasively saying you're losing your humanity, and we need mm. we need to stop this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I will mark insecure now. Thanks, Bea. You get um, an advance. <laughs> and I get an advance. Yeah, exactly. Um, she she just wants to be helpful. Yeah, I got that. I got that. That's that is uh Sarah doesn't feel insecure because of what she said, but because of the uh of the philosophy of the whole situation. I mean yeah. well, And right. also she still feels afraid of when you did your <laughs> supernatural yeah. thing. Yeah. Now I feel afraid of myself. That's uh, kind of uh fair. <laughs> cool. cool. Okay, I think that's uh that's the scene so yeah, I think like Bayo's just like, ah, shit, I have to get back to my ship. I'll talk to you about your deal. I have to, I have to go. 
Yeah, sure. Do you mind if I browse some of these books? Oh, no, it's a bookstore. They're meant to be browsed. Just just okay. don't read more than a chapter or, or things might happen. Yeah. Just things. Things? Yeah, okay. Things. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I will go and buy one of these books just so I can read more than one chapter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not saying that aloud. That's just my plan. Find a book that is appropriately uh, ominous. Excellent. So let's flip the uh, page on that scene and flip to a flashback cutscene where we see uh, a double page uh, looking over a cemetery in Crescent again. City. They froze, I think. Oh, okay. am I frozen? Am I back? It's not as cool as the previous freeze. No. Freezing so. or building tension. Oh. Right, what my yeah, I think mine's quite easy. I think it's it's got to be the uh, the, the um, burn as we don't have an over in play. It's uh, right. I've, I've, I've not actually. Oh, there you go. Sorry, I'm not sure what happened uh, there. I dropped and I bounced uh, with joys yeah. of uh, uh, internet. Sorry, right. Sorry, what I was uh, saying there was that there was the page. The page turns and we see uh, a, a flashback scene. It is of a uh, cemetery in Crescent City, and that is a New Orleans style cemetery of Gothic mausoleums. Um, it is the funeral for uh, Orisha of the Order, who gave uh, her life, um, uh, who gave uh, her life uh, in a battle with the Order and the Neverborn King. Um, and it is an early memory for you, Ash. How old is Ash at this funeral? He's like probably eight. Um, so he's old enough to kind of process a lot of what's going on, but not emotionally, and not a lot of the finer, more subtle details. Um, so there's a lot of confusion. Your father is is with let's say the other members of of the order. We haven't established if there is a a, a mother yet for you. I don't think was was there a mother? Is she? Didn't they didn't they just have an argument? Sorry. Didn't they just have an argument? There was your grandfather and your father. Oh, all oh, right. Sorry. Um. Yeah. Um. He does have a mother. Um. She is hardworking and wants the best for her family. Um, like she actually goes out and works, probably works for her own father's company. Um, she's part of like a larger extended family that support the order and are like aware of it on various levels. I say the order, like you know, the um, the legacy is what I really should be saying. Like they have a larger extended family that supports the legacy, otherwise, like they would struggle quite a lot to get by day to day. So she's sort of holding you tight and close, I think, as, as the funeral goes on. Um, um, and you sort of catch the, um, it's sort of, it's that whisper, which is almost uh, a shout that people can have between uh, Baron Carr and uh, your father. Uh, and the Baron is saying, uh, Baron Carr is saying that this is, so this, 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 uh, has been, you know, we can't just go back to normal after this. He says, he says I need a change. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to relocate to Halcyon City. There's a team there. Um, so, you know, and then you can see the heated argument between you, your father and you. Sort of, sure, he sort of, at one point, sort of, he grabs at uh, Baron Carr's jacket and he sort of looks and says, We made a, an agreement. We were going to stay together. <clears throat> And uh, Baron Carr says, you burn too brightly, Apollo. <clears throat> and you cast shadow that will burn us all up if we stay with you. <clears throat> and uh, we'll flash back to the uh, present day where the team is all 
together. Where do you choose to meet? Because Bea, it's a, it's, this is a celebration of Bea no longer being uh, grounded. Uh, your father has been round and had a conversation. What are the rules? <clears throat> we all need to know the rules. Bea, estab- establish, establish uh, at least one of the rules you overheard. Um, no fighting of any threat, supernatural or otherwise, with um, less than three teammates with you. <laughs> so um, we only fight as a team. Uh, Ash, Ash, what what does Apollo uh, confirm to you is one of the uh, other rules. Um, Ash. There's two things that come to mind just now. Like, one is that Ash should be absolutely respectful of the Minervas um, and do whatever they ask of him. Mm -hmm. And the other one is like maybe his dad saying that he needs to look after and protect Bea. Should not let any harm fall to Bea. Yeah, that seems about right. It says if you're going to form and lead a team, you're responsible for all of them always and that sort of i think ties back into the flashback there because your father looks uh haunted you sort of see a picture of of um uh others from the order on a uh uh, a frame and he says he sort of goes over and picks it up and looks at it and says what happened there you're lighting uh so for some reason, Zoom just uh, minimized, everything minimized on my screen. You're like, what happened there? <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, yeah. So he says, he says, if you take the responsibility to form a team, you lead it and you stand up and you do what has to be done, no matter the cost. <clears throat> Don't let others do it for you. And he looks at you. He says, it'll haunt you forever. No matter the cost. Like Ash asks as an open question. <clears throat> if it was a choice between one of your friends or you? Me. Right. The well, flame how, on. how old Ash is? He's probably getting close to 17 now. Yeah, yeah I think your dad goes to the fridge, uh, gets out a beer for him, looks at you, thinks about it, but then gets you a root beer and sort of puts it on the table and says, <clears throat> I'd me, rather, right? he said, <clears throat> says, he said, that's the choice. There'll always be someone who'll carry the flame, but there'll only ever be one team. He says, you'll be a good leader. And he's telling you who you are again. I'm absolutely going to suck it up, aren't I? <laughs> so he's going to he's going to put your uh, he's going to put uh, he's going to he was would have put your savior up. Yeah, you sucked it up. So I'm going to put your no. Nah, I'm not going to be that mean to you, am I? No, I'm going to put your superior. Me condition. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm, going mark, I'm going to mark you. Put your superior up, uh, and I'm going to put your uh, mundane down. That's fine. I will mark a potential and carry one forward. So where do the team come together? Black Dog, maybe? Or La La Le Chat Noir? Maybe? Allowed to be in there? (laughs) Teenagers? I'm I'm dead, so... I mean, we're card-carrying weirdos. We can go wherever we want now, right? We're the sinister kids who will stop. No, sorry. <laughs> I'm a Sionist. <laughs> well, I think as you uh, as you sort of uh, yeah approach the bar, uh, Kitty Isles, who is the bouncer, 
uh, uh, looks at you and she does go, whoa, it's the sinister kids. Uh, don't wreck this party. <clears throat> now, do we, do we look like we're about to mess up a perfectly nice bar? The sunglasses she is wearing glow in the anime style. And says, oh, uh, please said, don't said, I, I said, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> of course not, ma'am. I don't have any plans to wreck anything. I heard you got your good chicken wings. That's all I want, really. She uh, sort of smiles and says, why don't you, um, why don't you go on in? Uh, and just as you're stepping in, a, a black cast crosses your path there. Oh, that's unlucky. <sighs> just ignore it. Just ignore it. Fine. Ignore it. Uh, you I... step in. Uh, I said the black dog is, um, uh, as always, uh, holding court in uh, a tailcoat. Um, they're uh, playing the piano. There are all sorts of supernatural creatures, wizards, witches, and the odd confused tourist um, who um, seems to be sitting next to a vampire, usually. Um, but the piano plays uh, and the team are shown to a table. Black Dog themselves comes over uh, and um, uh, bows to you and say, huh. So you have a nom de plume. You are causing quite the stink in the city. <clears throat> are you on the side of angels or devils, I wonder? I'm thinking you were right. Now we're on the side of having a table and maybe some of the chicken wings for my friend here. I think we'd all like to be on the side of the angels. I'm just not sure they'd like to associate with us. I'm sure they can tell us if if we're if they don't want to be associated with us. Um, they can tell us directly. You are adorable, all of you. Yes, we will arrange for you some chicken wings. Uh, enjoy the evening. Don't cause too much trouble, if you wouldn't mind. And when he's gone, I'm looking at the others. Do we really cause that much trouble? I think everyone else has gotten so good at not causing trouble that we just stand out like a sore thumb. It was just one vampire ball. It just takes one. <sighs> oh, and that was also disrupting one necromancer, and before that, disrupting the resurrection of one vampire lord. Okay, but is that a bad thing? You say that like it's a bad thing. No, just... but. It, Probably won't pass without comment, will it? Okay, I guess you're right. Enjoy it. Yeah, they know, no, yeah, we, they know we did who you are. Sorry. Yeah, right. And if you're doing the right stuff, they'll respect you for it, or want to kill you for it, depending who they are, right? Yeah. Well, been there, done that. I, I mean, like it or not, we're players now. They say the only thing worse than being talked about is not being talked about, so. <laughs> Never thought I'd be a celebrity. No. I don't know. It feels like we're a bit more notorious than just being celebrities. Even celebrities, my, you know. Even my illusions. Please. No, yeah. <laughs> so guys, I've been thinking a lot and we really need to get on top on tracking Duke down before like he's still going around, he's attacking vampires. He's probably gonna get himself killed. And if the vampires get upset, he's probably gonna get a lot of other people killed too. So we track him down, we yell at him, talk to him. Well, we talk. should try to stop him at least. Toss him, and 
back at the North Pole, to the North Pole, Salem as an elf to Santa. I, what's, what's our play here? Do we, we think we can talk sense into him? Like, I think he's recently lost someone really important to him, to the vampires. And this is his way of lashing out and trying to get his own back. I think he probably really could use someone to talk to if they can get through to him. Okay. Failing that, yeah. We look after we look after the people here. Okay. I'll send his ass back to whatever city he came from if I have to. Was that New Hope City or something like that? The Halcyon or something? No, it wasn't Halcyon, no. was it? Mm, nah. Oh, some new, new Hope. New Hope. Okay. New Hope City, right? Um, aside from that, I'm kind of hoping we could maybe get closer to the uh, Mary Andrew stuff. Hmm. We'd really like to figure out what was going on with that guy and why he's running around killing kids. Yeah. And I really hope he, like, we have to stop him before he does more, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I mean, we can't just assume that because Necro Boy is in a jar, the, yeah. the murderous clown is going to stop. No, probably not. Maybe, maybe can, can we talk to Necro Boy in his jar? We should be able to drag him like to back at my place. We can, we can head and speak to him if, uh, if need be. I mean, would be a natural place to start, right? I mean, he'd know why he told that clown to kill people, wouldn't he? Yeah, um, well, I guess it depends on where I want to start first. You want to do, I mean, I want to be able to do both, find Duke and um, this Mary Andrew uh, fella. Um, but we got to prioritize, I suppose. Um, if we have to split up, that means you have to go after Duke because there's no fighting supernaturals without the full team there. Do oh, I have to be emotional support? Not that I don't mind. I don't mind. I, I mean, it's just... I, I feel we should not split up for this because that Duke situation could get out of hand badly. I mean, if he's not willing to, to swear off his crusade... Or be reasonable, he, at least. Yeah, then... But we have to be a bit more firm, right? Yeah. Um, well, we could at least track him down first. I think I have, yeah. I, I have a friend. I know. I, okay, I hesitate to call them a friend, but I think I know someone who can find them. Uh, who can find Duke. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was just getting. But she's looking around for that cat. Um, yeah. Let's maybe I'll focus on Duke then, right? I have the feeling that the Duke situation is something we can resolve pretty quickly, but the Mary Andrews thing that that might have that might lead us further in, right? That's not something yeah. that is resolved with going there, talking to him or smacking him a little bit up or something. Yeah, Mr. Sin's not gonna get out of that place anytime soon, right, Rick? I, I can't say as I've had uh, many guests, but it seems fairly secure. Okay, well, you can keep for now. The page mm. turns and we see a jar in a darkened room and we see the lid turning slightly. And, and, and inside, <laughs> this, 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 this end there necromantic spirit whispers, Son of a bitch. <laughs> So, I think we can turn the page on that. Um, I, I think you you had tracked uh, the high likelihood of where you expected. You triangulated down to where you think Duke was uh, from the sort of investigations you did in your week stand time. Okay, so I think we can close in on uh, uh, Duke, uh, the Shadow Knight's uh, location, um, pretty much immediately, if that is your call to action as a team. Yes. Okay. 
So uh, he has uh, um, been heading out into um, one of the less salubrious parts of town that anyone who knows Crescent City knows you don't go into. Uh, industry here has long since drifted away uh, and the rumours are of things that live in the sewers. Um, but I think as we uh, turn the page, we can hear clashes of steel, clangs, clangs, swooshes, and we sort of see uh, uh, the Shadow Knight uh, pushing their blade through a vampire um, uh, and a hiss of pain uh, and screams out, every one of you is going to pay. <clears throat> before uh, a little while later we see uh, the team uh, you see uh, around you it is it is well I think vampires or this court of vampires when they hit they, they do they do buffy out right and they do explode uh, into uh, you know flame and dust and then they're gone but uh, you can sort of see those outlines on the floor and you catch him uh, clearing down his blade and sheathing it. Uh, he Would anyone like to do anything like assessing the situation, piercing the mask, or any team moves as you close in on him? Yeah, I'll assess. Well, actually, hmm, actually, no, I'm really bad at assessing. <laughs> I'm like the worst at it. <laughs> But they are making the plan uh, seem <laughs> delightful, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay. If you want me to roll, I, I've spoken up, but I don't even look at my stats. Uh, <laughs> I like your enthusiasm. I will punish you for it. <laughs> okay. okay, all right. Uh, um... Wow, that's beautiful. That's a that's a four. So that's great. Yeah, it's just like, all right, I gotta. <laughs> I would help, but it won't be enough. <laughs> okay, so I would like maybe pierce the mask then as well if you've okay. done the assess. So I think you are you are literally uh, walking in and sort of he, bear is is sort of describe how you're you're moving towards them, bear. Um, we're we're absolutely not trying to be a to look like a threat. Mm -hmm. But we look like a threat because we're walking up to him and like, <laughs> no, okay, maybe not in broad daylight. But a bear is walking up to him in broad daylight. Uh, um, sure. Broad oh, moonlight I'm, by this point, but I would like to stay hidden right okay, now, that's so fine. that he does not readily see me. Close to the team that I can intervene, but kind of hidden in the shadows and my own translucency. I fail to pierce the mask. Okay, as, as so, we walk up. Uh, that's the point where where uh, uh, Rick, do you want to just position yourself in the scene first? Where do we see you in the panel? Yeah, um, I think maybe Rick's hanging back a little bit as the others go forwards. Um, um, but yeah, I think he is. He's definitely like not. He's not hiding. He's not not making his presence known to um, uh, to um, Duke. Okay, so Bear, as you sort of walking towards. Uh, Duke, the, you suddenly feel something go uh, tight on your ankle as you step under a, a uh, street light and all of a sudden you're upside down, hanging by your foot, dangling. Um, uh, and uh, sort of Rick spins around and it's just you and them at the moment, uh, Prometheus. <sighs> says, stay out of my business. You son of a bitch, you made it our business when you left us there for dead. Did it get too hot? Did you have to get out? He said, it's quite clear to me that you weren't going to go through with what we needed to do. I don't need your type. I'll do it alone. I thought, I thought you had uh, uh, something to, you know, I thought you'd be more like, uh, you know, the hero that my father said your father was but you're just a goddamn coward and, and i thought you'd be more like the father my granddad said your master was but you're just a child on a revenge trip looking to get himself killed and take some people with him and that's not how you do this 
Uh, I don't provoke. Is that a provoke or? It's 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 a provoke. Uh, uh, as you're having this heated scene, the sort of panel notes up to see Bayer hanging by one leg on a lamppost <laughs> above you. <laughs> Uh, can I maybe Thank get you. her down? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can, yeah. I will. <laughs> um, I get... Uh... Wait a minute. Are my stats way out of... No, no, they're right, they're right. Uh, so it's superior, which is two. So that's a nine. And I get to carry one forward. That's a ten on Provoke. So... <clears throat> Um, so yeah, uh, on a 10 plus, they rise to the bait and do what I want them to. I actually want him to hesitate and realize that he's a fuck up. And maybe going about this all the wrong way. I guess I want to try and see if I can get that hurt kid <clears throat> out of him. Okay, so... We'll cut back to his reaction to that in a moment. Uh, Revenant, how are you getting Bear down? Yeah, well, how is she hanging up there by a, some sort of rope or something? Yeah, it's, a, it's a basically a, a, a trap that she walked into and is around right her ankle and she's gone zoop up and is hanging uh, on the, uh, the rope. Okay, so the rope is uh, on, on some sort of wall. I think yeah. I'll just go into the wall and then manifest a bit so that this wall will crumble and bear with it. So uh, I'd like you to uh, unleash your powers then. Sure thing. Uh, let me look at my freak. That's okay. That's where it should be. Oh, wow. Oh. I've rolled a 12, but now it's only an 8, but that's still a 10. Okay, so the 10, uh, you uh, release, well, the, the, the rope has uh, uh, sort of released on the wall, and you are uh, falling down there. Um, <laughs> what do you want to do? Uh, I'm gonna. Tr I, I mentioned chat that Bea's hands are in her pockets, so her knickknacks and ice cream sand just won't fall out um, of her coat pocket. Um, hey, she, you might want to choose to write something to break uh, to clear your angry condition by breaking something. Uh, ah, <laughs> would break what my back? What would it do? <laughs> I, I, I would, I would count on you choosing to fall into Duke as uh, hitting someone you probably shouldn't. <laughs> I didn't know I was that I was positioned there. Yeah, sure. Um, um, Duke has hesitated because he's realizing he's a fuck up. Um, absolutely, I will choose to fall on <laughs> on him. Um, and I think I, in the last minute, I just tried to grab something in my pocket and I will pull out an ice cream sandwich and I'm going to land on, these, on him. And I'm, Punch I'm, him. I'm, I'm aiming the <laughs> sandwich to his face, I guess. He sort of he pauses to think what you've just said, uh, Prometheus, and then Bay Minerva uh, ice cream attacks him from above, sending both of them sprawling and uh, the sword flying out of his hand, uh, and that's the point where he just starts sobbing, uh, and he says, "They killed them all, everyone, all of them." He locked me in a cupboard, and, and when, when it was over, they were all dead. He says, I've got to make them pay. I've got to avenge all of them. Every last no. one of them. No. Duke. 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 Um, and no, I'm not going to slap her. <laughs> I'm going to punch him for the advance. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, f falling on top of him uh, will will count as the uh, that's that's fine. Okay, me. all right. You know, instead of um, instead of taking the advance, because like it says here, whenever I, I uh, uh, fulfill mark drive and strike it out, I can choose one: either mark potential, fair condition, or take influence over someone involved. Um, I might take influence over him. Sure. <laughs> you know, I didn't say anything to him. I just landed on him, and I think. Just to illustrate that, I think as he's sobbing, I'm. Uh, I I look to like 
Ash and who I know where Sai and Rick are. And I just... I, I'm pretty sure you know where Sai is. I mean, this couldn't have been quiet. This wasn't quiet. I destroyed a wall. Oh, yeah. I think I see. I tried to look at where, where Rick is. And I think I just take my glasses off like, ah, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. And I tried to hug him. Are you trying to comfort and support them? Yeah, this is an attempt. Uh, oh, is my mundane? Oh, it's pretty good. Um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plus one <coughs> influences eleven. Minus two because I'm angry. That's a nine. I would like to help. Okay. Um, spend a point uh, to help. Oh, yeah, better. I'm gonna spend a point. I'm gonna spend a point from the team. And um, Ash is going to pick up the sword, admire it for a few seconds, and bring it over, sit down, put it in his hands, and just like, sit beside the guy and be there on the other side. And my phone's literally dying this second. I'm sorry. Are you going to plug it in or are you done? Uh, I can try. Oh, gosh. Boom. <laughs> there we go. The frozen hands of Galactus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> see if uh, uh, Andrea okay. manages to plug it back in. Um, it might be stable for a few minutes. <laughs> okay, uh, right. As that as that uh, as that goes uh, off, um, right. Uh, and to help further, Ash is going to say, "What was the last thing he said to you before he locked that door?" He told me to live a better life and not to do this. And Ash is just probably going to put an arm around him now as well. Uh, Rick, you are the one who starts spotting the uh, uh, glittering eyes that are starting to surround you where you are. You're pretty sure there's vampires in the dark. Oh, do we need to resolve the um, comfort and support from Bea? Did you roll a 10 plus, Bea? Yeah, with that. Uh, yeah, well, so you take a team of pool on yourself or clear a condition on them. So you cleared a condition I, of them. They, they've opened up to you, right? So um, Cleared and secure. Cool. Um, so, yeah, I think um, I think uh, Rick is um, going to um, just take a um, I think actually he uh, he steps slightly out from underneath like the the the, the lamp post that is above him, um, and back into the into the shadows slightly. But he di but not not in because he knows that won't hide him from from the vampires. They can clearly see in the dark. But he just uh, um, he just calls out to them and says, "Now I think this here matter may be settled." Uh, friends this it seems y'all heard some of this boy's friends and he's heard some of your friends so we can keep going back and forth on this until more blood flows under the bridge but right now i say your best thing to do is step back because we don't want we don't want this to continue but We'll be damned if we ain't going to stop you uh, if you try anything more here this evening. Um, and I think as he is doing that, um, he is standing up a little straighter than he normally does. There's kind of a um, just a bit more presence to him um, than than there is normally. Uh, and I'm going to mark um, a doom to invoke the um, uh, stand up for yourself uh, adult move. 
Shit. <laughs> Um, I will do the points and stuff in a second. Sure. Um, but yeah. Oh, actually, I have Savior in there. I keep forgetting that. Your Savior sitting at one. Oh, uh, that's that's a yeah. That's an eleven in total. Swing, choose two. Yeah, exactly. So the, all of your bad dice are also for that uh, the stuff that made more feely things happen, and now you look like hard superheroes again. So it's all okay. So <laughs> choose your two moves, or two uh, uh, choices. Yeah. So I think um, I think that the two I'm going to choose are that they can't keep doing what they're doing. So I think like what I see by that is that like. It's it's obvious at this point that they've been called out. We know they're there, so they can't kind of outflank us, sort of thing. Um, and I think that they can't attack me without losing status or position because I, I think maybe they are starting to realise what's going on here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you sort of see them hissing and falling back and going. Yeah, obsidian. Reckoning soon. <clears throat> As uh, the vampires exit the scene, leaving a panel of uh, Bayer and uh, Prometheus hugging uh, a sobbing uh, teenage boy. Do we turn the page on that, or is anyone wanting to do anything else? I'm, I'm good where I yeah. am. <clears throat> so the page, page turns. Where in the cooldown from this do you take Duke? I'd like to like take him home and then probably send him back to New Hope City to start a new. Probably leaving on the bus station because trains are expensive, right? Yeah. So look, look, he came into town on a bus. Is anyone with uh, Ash when you're putting him onto the bus? Yeah, I think um, I think that uh, Rick will be there. Lurking about, just in case something goes wrong. Yeah, uh, Bear's there. Who's trapped? Was it that day I was caught in? Well, I assume it was Duke's. Yeah, he'd set up a, a kill box. Uh, uh, I rewarded Bayer for the uh, six or less to be uh, trapped. <clears throat> uh, assessing the situation, I mean, they walked straight into the trap. So it was it was uh, his trap. But um, I think you sort of see him. We see him sort of standing there um, by the bus. Uh, and trying to get on, and he says, "I am. Um, I'm going to get help. I, I can't thank you enough." He says this, this isn't the life for me. I need to do. I don't know how you all do it. Badly. He said, "But, but Prometheus, you you try." carry a legacy like me what drives you why would you want this because if i don't have the legacy i have nothing okay that's being really dramatic um <clears throat> no we just do our best that's 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 the big trick sometimes we don't do it well or Someone has to do it, but not everyone has to. Um, I, I'm not strong enough. I don't want to do this. Thanks. And he sort of turns back before he gets on the bus and looks at uh, Bea and puts the wrapped sword in her hand and says, and says, if, said, 
you're cute and all, but you need some heavy hitting if you're out with these guys. <laughs> this, this, this is yours now, if you want it. Um, sure, but um, we'll see you again, right? Maybe not for this, but you know. You're welcome to come to New Hope uh, anytime. If I'm you ever need your help, call us. Yeah, maybe exchange phone numbers. A voice from the shadows. You literally saved me. And that will give people the opportunity to uh, potentially hit their celebratory team moves in a moment. Uh, and he gets onto the bus. You sort of see his hand uh, on the glass as the bus pulls uh, uh, away. And um, Bea, you can mark, if you like, into no powers and not only enough training, uh, the blade of Vortigan. At least for that. <laughs> I'll take him to the air. Uh... Ash is going to put his, shoulder, his hand on Bea's shoulder. We, we actually did some good today. And Bea, you, you were great. I've been really upset at myself the last month for my own failings and I've kind of been pushing that onto you and I'm really sorry. I think this is news to her. Uh, she just looks at you like, huh? Yeah. Okay. Like, I'm sorry. Damn. You're one of us. <laughs> um, I should be treating you with more respect. And I give you an influence over me. Um, yeah. Be grateful yeah. that lost influence. <laughs> I think um, um, Bear is like a bit confused, and it's just because what she remembers of <laughs> that altercation with Duke, she got caught in a trap and <laughs> landed on him, <laughs> and Rick did um, a uh, cool declaration. <laughs> It's just, I think, cream <laughs> him. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not sure if, like, she's, I'm not sure if I want to fire off her, like, uh, celebration move. I think she's still got, like, she's holding the sword. It's a bit awkward. Uh, and she's just like, I'm, well, I'm, well, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. But, you know, thanks, Ash. Um, I'm going to. Glad to know that it wasn't just me. It was it was all of us. It was you know. I got I got I got caught looking stupid, and Sai saved me, and Rick made sure, it, and things didn't escalate. We we all did good. I didn't. I just destroyed a house. That wasn't that wasn't that good. There. That's fine, I don't mean to bring you down. Sorry. No, this is this isn't the time to bring down. Even even that helped. Right, Rick? We destroyed a house. We, That's bad. <laughs> we 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 did what we needed to do. We got that boy into a better place than he was, and that's that's the best you can ask for. Well, most of the time, anyway, we we should be proud of what we did, uh, and I hope everything works out for for Duke. He seemed like a nice kid. Yeah, I'll keep in touch with him. Just make sure he's doing well. Hey, I'm really proud to be a member of this team. Me too. Yeah, it's uh, great hanging out with you all. Is uh... I will say though, are we okay with being called sinister kids, or should we think of something else? <clears throat> That's the point where 
you sort of spot the people moving in the crowd. Everyone, almost everyone else has stopped moving uh, and figures are moving around you. Uh, you can see them and they have uh, wands drawn out and mystical sigils uh, floating around them. <clears throat> At which point, uh, one of them proclaims, Sinister kids. <clears throat> you heard you are summoned uh, to face uh, the Council of the Mysterium. By, by whom exactly? <clears throat> Said by decree of the Council. Um, yeah, but who is that? What if, what have you heard of the Mysterium, uh, Bayer? Because this is a perfect example for Bayer to be more educated than the rest of the team. <laughs> um, oh, man. The Mysterium. Um, they're like, I think Bez thinks she's counterculture enough that like she's probably really sniffy about the Mysterium. It's like, what? The, the Mysterium? They're, they're like, they're basically, they're basically the biggest kind of like, well, they say they're collectors. Uh, they collect like stuff, but they're just, they're, they're snobs. What, what do we want to do with a bunch of snobs? I don't want to be collected. I've been there. No, thank you. <laughs> they are the arbiters of uh, they are the arbiters of mystical law, and you stand accused. You will come quietly, or we will take you. Uh, and they take uh, defensive Harry Potter one positions. But was that accused uh, uh, of? Uh, <laughs> And I would like to engage in foolhardy action right now <laughs> because I mean I, I don't I don't answer to these. I'm I'm telling him, look, I don't answer to you, arbiter thingies. I answer to the dead, and then I will call up some ghosts just to, you know, intimidate them because I don't like them and I can't do that and I, I, I feel so insecure now and then I want to do something. Yeah, the, guy, the guy with the main sort of uh, one says is like, you're just like, you're so disrespectful, all of you. Uh, can I take my, can I use my move here? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> be the monster, you know, that's what I want to do. I, I will probably roll badly now, but who knows, it's freak. No, no, I don't. I roll an 11. Uh, describe what this looks like, please, Revenant. Um, yeah, okay. On a hit, they are thrown off and make themselves vulnerable uh, to you. And on uh, 10 plus, choose one. You frighten others. You had not intended to scare. You hurt someone or break something you shouldn't have. You feel more of a monster afterwards. Mark a condition. I think I... Um, I mean, there was a crowd, right? You said there was a crowd. Yeah. Mm. Sorry. I think they get a bit panicked with. I, I um, did say there was a crowd, but I did say they were, uh, they frozen them with magic. But if you want to unfreeze them and get them to cause chaos, you're more than welcome to do so. Oh, yeah. You're, you're a busy the... bus station. Oh, cool. Um, sorry. That's not cool. Uh, but who knows? Uh, well, yeah, what happens is this is a bus station, right? And people, people kind of tend to die on bus stations as well as others, freeze to death or stuff like that. So these ghosts start to manifest and shamble around. They're pretty aimless actually, but I think the Mysterium people, they, they don't know what this is, if this is an attack or what, and they get into each other's way because they were in her, their Harry Potter stance and then they don't know if they should use the second form to defend or the fifth, and, and then they start arguing about that and suddenly the people start to unfreeze and see the ghosts shambling about and that causes even more chaos. And so I standing in the middle of that and, and looking at them like, yeah, come and arrest me if, if you really want to. And I think I will clear my insecure condition. Yep. Uh, what, so say, um, yes. So they are freaking out. What does the rest of the team do? Let's ask, uh, Bayer next. Um, 
<laughs> just kind of like the exact opposite of what she wanted uh because the last time this happened she got really freaked out i think she's still uh freaked out about that um and i think i i think she just kind of like i think like she just like turns to the other two she's still holding the sword in a really awkward manner <laughs> like she's not she doesn't have anything on this like um Okay, I wasn't expecting this. Can we, we? We don't. We're not gonna fight them, are we? They're the Mysterium. Now we leave, or we go peacefully. Okay, uh, let's let's try and leave. Uh, someone grab Sai. I um. While this is happening. Okay. I guess I'm gonna run and try and grab Sai's hand, and pull Sai away. Cool. Rick, are you doing anything? I note your new doom sign you've chosen. Yeah, oh. yeah. Uh, no, um, I, I, I'm happy to follow on the people are uh, uh, booking it. I'm letting uh, Ash drag me away. Uh, Ash can't drag me away. These guys can't. Because I asked for consent. Because you're my friend. Sai, please come with. Sure. Awesome. Um, cool. So, look, you on, on the back of uh, Revenant's role, the Mysterium are uh, dealing with a panicking situation in the crowd who can suddenly see them and are freaking out. Uh, so you manage to sleep, sneak uh, away. Where are you heading to? Bia's leading the way. Yeah, <laughs> I think Bear, Bear's main thought was like just be out of there. I think I think probably the one closest there would probably Rick. Um, look, sees that she's a bit shocked by those ghosts. So, uh, there are that magical government or something. Is this some kind of Harry Potter thing going on? It's 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 like eighty percent the Harry Potter thing going on. Um, they're not from the government. They just like they think they think they're a governing authority. You know, you 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 read enough, you read enough of the right kind of books. You think you know everything. That's just I don't so, know. I didn't. It'd be interesting. So these are really kind of magic cops. Self appointed, I guess. We're not interested in lists. Not, not, not cops. <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's why. That's why I was, I was barely explaining it. Like they're not cops. They're they're a very self-important organization um, of collectors and who, we who, meddlesome wizards who think they're in charge. Yeah, we should lay low and maybe get some more information from our respective families. Yeah, maybe it's, we should split up. Um, Split up. Yeah, we're not gonna get into fights right now, so it's not breaking any of my mom's rules. Hey, uh, how about I stick with you just in case uh, I can peel off once we get close to your place? Should I say that again? You say that Sorry, again, did... Andrea. We didn't hear you. Okay. Who's that you're saying that to? Uh, to to uh, Bayer. Um, yeah, sure. You can help me explain the sword. Actually, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't bring this. Mm. But no, I, no, no. I'll explain the sword. It's fine. It's fine. It was a gift. It's more than a gift. It's okay. Yeah, I guess if I. If I say it's a gift, they they know what it is. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll just be up front. Okay, uh, Sai, do you want to come back to my place just in case weird wizards try and ambush us again? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I would like to, uh, to do that. Um, cool. um, I'm sure I'll be all right. I mean, I, I can can just take you there and then you can be with your family and I go off and do my thing, but uh, I could come with you if you... You can like. hang out if you want. Cool. Okay. 
your your family is pretty famous, right? Uh, you might have seen my dad around. Yeah, he's that glowy guy. Yeah. Shiny guy. Yeah, very shiny guy. Okay. Yeah, I've I've seen pic. I remember seeing pictures, kind of. Uh, okay, stay safe, guys. And check in. Okay. Yeah, sorry for scaring you, Bea, while you drag me away. So we'll go back to the uh, bus station where these uh, bimbling Giles ish types are trying to call down the, uh, the crew. And then we can see sort of another crew of, of people with wands moving forward more men in black style, whispering back and forth. Um, and there's one woman, she is uh, probably late twenties, Asian woman in a leather jacket with a mystic locket on, and she is smoking a large cigar and looking around <clears throat> and said, look, I told you uh, this nonsense wasn't gonna work with them. <clears throat> said, they're players, they know what's going on. We've got to figure out how we can bring them on board before this escalates. <clears throat> and she takes a big puff, especially the Revenant. And um, we see uh, a picture of her in the uh, chat channel. We see that in a puff of smoke and the smoke comes out in a form of a dragon, which flips its wings and takes into the air. Uh, as you run and separated, uh, I think that's a good point to flip the back page on uh, this comic tonight. Uh, and we see the letters page in this issue is by Apollo uh, and it's parenting advice for errant children. Okay, uh, let's uh, say come to our end of session move then, folks. Uh, and uh, I'm going to go in character keeper order this evening. Uh, I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask Rick if they grew closer to the team, grow into their own image of themselves, or grew away from the team. Yeah, I think um, I think I grew closer to the team this time. Um, I think that um, you know, I think there was just a bit, quite quite a lot of camaraderie going around in general. Um, I think in in particular, uh, I will go for um, uh, for um, Ash in this instance because we had that sort of uh, long conversation and had each other's back uh, in the uh, in the bar room brawl. So yeah. Oh, and for my my special uh, end of session move as well, mm. um, we absolutely didn't do anything to, uh, to to deal with my issues this week. So um, I will mark another doom, another point in my doom track. Oh, doom! Okay, I already have influence on you, so I get to mess with your stats, right? Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna pop your savior. Oh no, wrong button. Uh, up, and your superior down a little bit more. Because you're a good friend. Hooray. Silaru, how about you? Yeah, I felt grow closer to the team, at least in the last scene when and a single tap I have to give that to Ash because he grabbed my hand and dragged me away and invited me to come with him. Uh that was really nice and I think uh Sai feels a bit assured by by that. I mean he, he like he likes Bea, but he scared her and yeah. Wow. Awesome. So you can, I think you have already have influence over me, so you can mess with my stats. Um, okay. I'm going to put your freak up. Okay. And your mundane down. Bay maneuver. Yeah, I think it's also going to be grow closer to the team, and not to copy everyone else, but it's, it's because of Ash. <laughs> um, uh, because of I'm sorry, <laughs> it's just mm. uh, the arc of Ash calling her parents out and kind of making her feel bad to Ash at the station, be like, no, no, I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to do that. 
you're you're a part of this team. It was a lovely arc, so it has to mm-hmm. has to go to Ash. Yeah. That, that's a sign of a good team leader, right? That the three people who've grown closer today have grown closer to the self-appointed leader of the team. You will respect their authority. Uh, um, Ash, I've got to. Oh, you've got to fake move uh, Bears labels, yeah. I'm going to pop your freak up one, <laughs> and I think I'm going to have to pop your mundane down one. And why? Are you um, I think it's just like all, like you know, the teleportation. Now you're the bearer of the sh- the blade of shadows. And the only person who seems to know what's going on. Mm-hmm. You're clearly a very weird person. A lot <laughs> of people <weird> would, <laughs> would notice. You have a uh, strong dad, but I'm 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 really looking forward to your next set of drives as well, uh, Bayer Minerva. But uh, Ash Rodriguez, what about for you? I'm like really torn because Ash in general bonded really well with most of the team um and was like an equal part sort of like vulnerable and close etc but i think all in all that was a big part of him growing into his own image of himself which is you know as like the conversations with his father when um it's not just the team leader but being the legacy and being part of a group and being there physically emotionally to like now like to his death if need be to help them and look after them and protect them. So I'm going to do that. And What's your labels you're changing? Oof, it's so hard. I think my mundane needs to go down. And I'm not sure if I want to put my freak or my danger up. Um, I didn't think you were totally dangerous. No. Like you were more freaky. Let's put my freak up to zero. Yeah, that's what you did with Bear and me anyway. So mm. <laughs> kind of feels like <laughs> sym- symmetrical. Okay, so I was trying to give you enough uh, space to, to pace your scenes tonight. Did I get the pacing about right? Too slow? Too fast? Any thoughts? Um, I thought it was mostly pretty good pacing. Um, I think scenes were getting wrapped at roughly the appropriate time. Um, and you were giving us the freedom to frame. Like, I would suggest that, remember with the first group, we used to do like a little list of scenes we would love to see. Mm. We should maybe start doing that so when you offer us what we want to frame, we've got a go-to. Yeah. Rather than having on the spot. When when I've played Mass before and I've done a couple of games, I sort of I can, can put a tab in the sheet where scenes you would like to see, uh, which is on like a river of scenes. So tonight I wanted you to give you the breath that you asked for, which was to to frame your own scenes. But it's like how how can we uh, how can I make sure that we're we're structured and not too uh, uh, off the track there. But that's a good piece. But anyway, let's see some let's see some stars and wishes to draw things. Down, uh, let's go. Uh, stars in, we've just gone one way, we're going reverse character keep order. I'm going to ask, uh, Andrea if you could go first with any stars that you have, please. Okay, uh, I got two that are stuck in my head. One is the uh, well, actually, it's mostly um, just Leandro mentioning in chat that he's sticking his hands in his pockets to keep his various knickknacks, trinkets, and ice cream sandwiches in place as he hangs upside down, which um, had me in stitches. But I guess also um, for an actual real sort of um, emotional bit, um, Sai standing up to idiot wizards. Like, it's just really nice to see that kind of fierce side of Sai where he has made his mind up and is enforcing his own will. Sorry, their own will. My bad. Excellent. Uh, yeah, that was uh, all good. Leandro, do you have any stars? Yeah, I think the the main star I want to shout out because everyone's great as always. I got two stars as well I want to shout out, but um, I could just keep rambling about all the great stuff that happened tonight. Um, one star is to the conversation between Ash and Rick outside the bar. <laughs> just... Uh, 
just the two bros just um, <laughs> bonding over the weird circumstance and <laughs> fighting off this weird uh, Undertaker ass um, <laughs> biker, which uh, I, I had a lot of fun with the chat because you know the biker taker was a, was a not the most not the most loved of Undertakers, um, but yeah, I did love like it. It felt like. It it wasn't really connected to like anything, but it felt nice to like just have like almost like a slice of life moment while they're in the middle of doing more important stuff. And speaking of stuff that I, that doesn't seem connected to anything, uh, Dave, uh, I want to shout out how you properly like structured this this session like a comic book, as in like yeah, no, there will be stuff happening that the characters won't know of, but you know, is pertinent to the readers. I really like the flashing back to the construct the the order flashing back to like appropriate like uh thematic moments um that parallel to what's happening on on the page and your use of cliffhangers i want to meet this asian lady bear doesn't have a crush god no um, <laughs> um so the just keeping in mind the medium that we're playing it was, was really great uh, I, I want to shout that out uh not not that I, of course, my constant star is, as always, to David's accent because you know, it's just, I nearly slipped into doing one as well. I guess it's infectious. <laughs> See, I, I'm not going to ever give David a star until that does a Welsh one. Uh, he's got a similar Welsh and Alan and Gerwin. Dave, I'll give you a star if you do a Welsh accent. <laughs> not possible anymore. <laughs> uh, Sabine, any, any uh, stars? Sure. I have, I mean, I have lots as usual, and I will absolutely go and ramble about until it's midnight, at least we're here, which is in 42 minutes. So, no, sorry. Um, uh, stars to Andrea for taking uh, charge, uh, for Ash taking charge of all the situations and being, uh, oh, yeah, being a real leader. I like that. And, and still being that vulnerable with uh, when he talked to Rick, that was nice. And I like they are so, oh no, these witches, they are always so mysterious. And this this, rat, this this little rat, that was a lot of fun. And I love how Rick was like, yeah, you can now start something, but uh, don't, just don't to a horde of vampires. That was kind of amazing. Uh, yeah, and, and David, uh, for all the NPCs who dropped in and by at the most opportune moments, actually. Like these wizards who went into Harry Potter at Textile. Like, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> Let's have that. I love that. The, Even the though Cy did not, but okay. The, the, the Waspens are like Anglo Saxon practitioners in magic, right? That, that's what we know. <laughs> Yes, now you see why I don't like them. <laughs> yeah, who would? Um, they're just sort of like Fraser Crane. Uh, David, any stars? For yeah, no, definitely. Um, uh, it, it, obviously, stars around. Uh, uh, it was a it was a very good uh, very good session. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it. Um, I um, stars to um, um, uh, specifically, I think to um, yeah to. Andrea and um, um, and uh, Leandro for the uh, for the way that you dealt with Duke. I think that was a really nice scene. Um, uh, like some some kind of genuine uh, genuine empathy and, and helping there was was really good to see um, in uh, in play. Um, so thank you very much for that. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, Sabine, um, I really loved the the moment where you um, like uh, looked into um, into um, um into um Bayer's uh dreams that was a really nice use of pierce the mask as you know it was a really nice like crossover between like abilities and moves it was a very it was a very, it was a really nice idea um i thought that was great um and uh yeah um i don't know what, what people said but i also um i just what 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 uh, really like sold it for me is like that the, the, there was like absolutely as much tension with the the scene um over breakfast as there was like in confronting a, a room full of vampires <laughs> which which is it, it feel, feels feels uh highly highly masks appropriate awesome uh look uh my shout out as i say i i uh... i felt that this game could suddenly start getting really dark but i did feel some like teenage moments 
uh, tonight and really feeling the chance you'd have those bounce off scenes to each other, which is why I said, I'm not going to keep, I'm not going to jam things in. So I just want to let your characters tell those, those stories. Uh, I could have quite happily have had uh, popcorn and just sat here all evening and not done anything, but it was just framing enough to, to move things on. Um, uh, but, you know, I, I can call out for every one of you, but but to, to Leandro, for specifically set, for wanting to frame into that dream scene and then continuing to take the prompts and fill the back stuff up as this know-it-all uh, which with an opinion about everything, I, I just thought was, uh, is, is the big call out uh, for me but i just feel like again i could just leave you to run the game i could just go off it would be fun you, That's you, what we did last you, week. you don't need me anymore you've all grown up uh it was great fun man so thank you very much Let, let's go back on wishes uh and think about the type of, of structure of session we want like, next time as well because it allows me to think about pacing but um david any wishes for you um, yeah, I think maybe um, uh, it might be nice next session to um, um, to maybe yeah, look at like um, confronting possibly um, uh, um, uh, Mary Mary Andrew Mary Andrew that's it yeah yeah um, or, or something like that I think maybe that that feels like our kind of next big um, yeah. hanging hanging uh, threat um, so I think maybe maybe focusing in on that next time might be cool. I mean, obviously, still mixing in some like kind of um, looser, looser scenes and that, but I, I'd quite like to yeah, maybe go for go for a um, a big a big confrontation scene again next time. It's unfortunately the nature of comic book games so that you sort of can, you, you can sort of integrate things together, but but you sort of like need a, th a thread each session and um, yeah. But I agree, it, a Mary Andrew or a similar big villain feels uh, that they need to be dealt with. I, I guess maybe either Mary Andrew or more poking around with the um, uh, with this new. Um, uh, Mysterium thing going on, but I, I feel like the, the Mary Andrew thing is a bit more, a yeah. bit more focused, maybe. Cool, Sabine. I would wish to roll more and fail, but but no, no I cannot wish a uh, bad dice on myself. <laughs> that is not a wish you can fulfill. That is more uh, a wish that I would uh, direct at the roll for your party. Um, otherwise, I would absolutely love to go into Rick's cathedral or whatever it is to talk to Mr. Sin. I would really, really love to go there and find out if there are any ghosts down there. Because I have a feeling that that might be interesting. Yeah, we can probably tie those two together, right? Because using set, me setting up a structure around you using the cathedral to, uh, uh, to find... Um, Mary Andrew. Yeah, and I, I've just picked up that doom sign as well, which could could uh, easily play into that. Oh, uh, well, we can have a tireless episode, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Leandro. Has ever been a good tireless episode? Anyway, um... <laughs> you you shut your mouth. <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna... the invasion of time. Is is it? That's that's okay. Never mind. I'm not. Gonna... <laughs> it's. Stupid thing. Oh, that was a four part. That was that was six part. That was meant to be a four parter. The Sontarans didn't need to be there. Right, anyway. So ne ne uh, next 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 uh, session, unfortunately, Andrew will not be joining us. <laughs> <laughs> what was the one where the TARDIS became a person? Was it the Doctor? That's, that's, yeah, Neil Gaiman. That's one. a doc yeah. yeah, that's a Neil Gaiman one. The that, Doctor's that's, wife. So, that's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, stay on yeah, topic. yeah. Yeah, stay on topic. Um, I got I got have two things. Um, one, I. Take the preliminary set of new drives. They're all around showing off and being <laughs> and trying to stand out. Oh, I've, got um, read them. I've got to read them. Yeah, uh, there are, you know, take down a threat all on your own, which, you know, that's going to be helpful with those rules that her mom's gave her. Um, help a teammate when they most need you. Reject someone who tells you you shouldn't be here and pull off a ridiculous stunt. Um, I think Bay is like in a, even though, Ash said all those nice things. She's in and out. And I got to prove myself. All I did was hang off a, a trap, or get caught in a trap and mm -hmm. accidentally land on someone. Um, had to be saved. I've got this sword now. So I think that's her general direction. Sadly, she does not want to make out with any of her teammates, I don't think. Um, <laughs> she's, she's got a vampire GF. Um, I, I love the way that she is the most dangerous and yet... Uh, uh, well, just dangerous, probably to herself and others. Dangerous will sum her up beautifully uh, character in the group most powerful but definitely the most dangerous 
but yeah do you have a, do you have a wish you want to, to lead into next time um well i the thing is that one's for me the other one's like i yeah i did want to see a bit more of yeah what the of rick's doom um basically hanging over um not not you know not like a big part but you know yeah like, as you said you can uh it's something that can be threaded with everything else is going on um with mary andrew and the cathedral and despite my joking i would not mind as hard as that so um, i just i just question if there's been any good ones anyway um uh, no that's <laughs> we're not gonna get into the debate but uh, yeah I, I think, <laughs> uh but yeah i want i want to see more of uh Rick confronting bits of his doom, uh, for sure. Excellent. Andrea? Um, I'm really happy so far, but um, I would love to learn more about Sai's history. Um, just even as, you know, as a pedestrian, sort of watching Sai's scenes unfold. Um, like, thematically, we've had a lot of good urban horror tropes. I would love some creepy old bayou swamp shit. I think that would be creepy and fun and different. And if it wouldn't make the game too busy, um, a non-violent confrontation with the uh, evil member of the family would be cool down the line. Yep. But that might make the game too busy. Just... um crowbarring in more NPCs. I I think we're about full on NPCs, but um, yeah. but uh, we can bring them in uh, and, and feed them into stuff and back flashes to the order uh, and the difficulty that you're you know and what that means to you. But I, I can feed that all in. Uh, Perhaps, but that's sort of secondary to the first two things. Definitely. Creepy swamp adventures and spies history would be cool things to explore. It, fe it feeds into the legacy. I think that's all doable, right? It's, it was important enough to put as an as a establishing NPC, so we need to, to look at it. Um, so, yes, we can definitely do that. Um, uh, and I say, I think, I think um, running something which may feel like uh, uh, a Ravenloft scenario in size. Um, uh, mind palace as we unpick some of the the secrets what does uh, what does size um uh, what does size uh, sanctum that size right rick sanctum hold i think is that would be quite fun to structure and quite a different structure for a mass game um to do anyway so Ooh. let's let's do that next time um as always, oh. yeah. So it's been a, it's been an awesome game. Sorry, Andrew. I have one advance. I'd like to just pocket my moment of truth for later. So you've you've unlocked it for use, right? Okay, good. Uh, cool. Uh, great. At at that point, folks. If there's anything else, we'll uh, we'll just put bang on time. We'll uh, close down the session, and I will see.